What's worse than riding on the road and having your check engine light come on? And much less sitting in the mechanic shop waiting for your car to be worked on when it's unnecessary. It's really important to change your oil in your vehicle regularly and maintain proper oil levels. Stated by consumerports.org on the in the article, five things to know about oil changes for your car. You should check your oil levels in your vehicle at least once a month. Today we're going to go over how to change the oil in a 2019 Ford F-150. First thing you need to do is gather all your belongings you need to, in order to do the oil change. You're going to need nine quarts of 5W 30 weight synthetic oil. You're going to need a Motocraft. FL 5005 oil filter, a pair of pliers, an oil filter wrench, uh, oil pan, some towels to clean up your mess, and that's about it. First thing we're going to do is place your oil pan underneath your vehicle in the middle of your truck and locate your oil drain plug. It's a yellow plug located in the center of the vehicle directly underneath the middle of your passenger seat and your driver's seat. Once your oil pan is placed in the middle underneath, you're going to take your pliers and loosen the oil plug. When you got the oil plug unscrewed, your oil will start dripping out of, your, out of your engine into your bucket. Next step we're going to do is get from underneath the vehicle, pop the, pop the hood of the vehicle, and remove your oil fill cap on the top of your engine. This will allow the air to flow through and let your oil drip out into your pan efficiently. This step should take about five to 10 minutes until all the oil is drained out. Once all your oil is drained, we're gonna replace your yellow drain cap back on your engine. Once your cap is back on, the next step is gonna be to replace your oil filter. The oil filter is located at the front of the vehicle in between the bumper and the engine. The easiest way to get to it is from underneath. You're going to take your oil filter wrench, put it on your oil filter tightly, and loosen it. Make sure you got your bucket underneath the oil filter when you're taking it off because it might make a little mess. There's probably a little bit of oil still left in it. Once your oil filter's off, open up a fresh bottle of your synthetic oil, put a little bit on your finger and rub it around the rim of the oil filter. Screw your oil filter in, hand tight, make sure you don't over tighten it because it could lead to problems in the future with taking it off. After that, your oil filter is replaced, you're ready for the next step. Now we're going to be replacing the oil. We already have our oil filter cap off while we're draining the oil. You're going to take your 9 quarts of synthetic motor weight oil, your 5W30, and start to pour them in. You should pour about eight quarts in and let it set. Make sure you're on a level ground while you're doing this. You're gonna take your dipstick, which is located just to the level of your oil field cap, take it out, wipe it with a paper towel, put it back in. On your dipstick, you're gonna have an oil field line. It's gonna be a gap and you're gonna see weight, what level you need on the stick in order to have the sufficient amount of oil. Pull your stick out. You should be a little low at 8 quarts and keep adding little bits of oil to it until you get your proper levels. Put your, oil fill, oil, your dipstick back in, your oil cap back on. You're going to want to go through everything, make sure your plug is tight, your filter is tight, everything's set up back normal just like you would. Take your oil bucket, put it to the side, dispose of everything properly. Can't stress the importance of changing the oil in the vehicle enough. In an article written by GeneralAutoRepairs.com called What Happens When You Don't Get Your Oil Changed, it states that the engine can start to build debris at, at the top, over time whenever you don't change your oil frequently enough. Parts inside the engine can begin to wear down and eventually it can heat up too much and warp your engine. Again, to save time and money, this 
changing your oil and maintaining your oil level in your vehicle is very important. Got to show you too.